Hey gang, Jackalier here. Uh, just going to show you uh, how the process went with building those shelves. Uh, starting out, we cut this piece of plywood from another place down. Uh, cut it in a few spots. I'll go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to watch it, but that's where it's all started. I do want to take this time to thank all of you for uh, your encouragement in actually this project. It did help me get it done a little quicker than I normally would have. And it was a real motivating factor. Now, once I ended up with all of these cut, uh, we actually took them over uh, by the tree and I bought a few cans of just generic flat black spray paint. And my son and I took turns kind of spraying the plank. Uh, here he is speeded up quite a bit. He had a little trouble uh, depressing the, the nozzle, but uh, we did eventually get it done. Now next time uh, if I do this again, I don't think I would go with spray paint. I did this time just because I found, uh, found it relatively cheap and I didn't want to mess with rollers and brushes and everything, just in case this project didn't work out. This is kind of the first dry run. I may refine it later and go from there. But it did turn out uh, rather nice. Here's a, we're gonna get a picture of the first coat. And doesn't look bad. Uh, my other son, this is what he was doing the whole time that we were building the uh, sheds. He didn't seem uh, interested at all. Now, this is the inside of uh, the TV, and we were originally going to put the slats like that, but we found a little problem. We ended up changing the style because we had to put those in because the wood was too hard so it wasn't taken the other way. And then what we're going to do, with these right there, we'll put the shelves on top of them. All right, gang, the second shelf is in. Uh, we've got a little gap there I'm gonna need to fix, but it's time to put some systems in there. It's gonna go uh, Atari, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, or the FC Twin, that thing. And then Nintendo 64. So we'll have all those on the bottom and then we'll see what goes on the next one, and there's gonna be one on top of that. Sorry, I just realized that that bobbing thing probably made y'all sick. I won't do that again. But, be back in a bit. All right, so there we go. The 64, FC Twin, Nintendo, and Atari, all right there. And I made sure to leave enough clearance to where I can get in here and pop the games out and not hit shelf. So now to line up the next contestants, put the next shelf on, and then we'll be good to go. All right, be back in a bit. All right, here it is in the uh, everything in there phase. I don't have everything hooked up yet. Uh, that board right there is a little warped, so I'm gonna have to go back and redo it. Focus. Thank you. So, in order, we've got the uh, Telegames, the Sears version of the Atari 2600, the top-loading NES, the FC Twin, Super Nintendo will go there whenever I get one, the Nintendo 64, above that the GameCube with GameCube, or we'd rather with Game Boy Player, the Model Genesis 2 with the Sega CD, the Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, my DVD recorder, and my Xbox. Now I do have uh, a few more consoles to add in here. I'm just going to have to figure out how, but these are the main ones that I wanted in here. And they're doing pretty well right now. Uh, we did have a little bit of a problem. Now, I have, now all I have to do is uh, fix the rest of what I've done here, I have made a little bit of a mess. And there it is working. So, just plugged in the Xbox real quick. I've got to get a bunch more stuff going on, but 
There it is all together. Uh, I still have to put the cover back on the speakers. Still have to organize everything else. But there are, are the shelves. They're all on there. Got them all uh, wired up so that I can turn the ones that I need to turn off off and leave the other ones on. Gaming shelves there, bookcase there. I've got to clear off the couch and find spaces for that and sort through the games. But uh, aside from that, you know, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. All right, gang, real quick, as you can see, it's uh, dark out now, so uh, I'm done for the day. Otherwise, the moths will attack me. Hooked up the, the first of the switches. It's got PS2, GameCube, and Xbox on there. So now, so as you can see, I can uh, now go from the PlayStation to the GameCube to the Xbox just by pushing a button down here. Now I have other over here and what I'll be doing is I'll be placing another switch on other and then I'll add on more of them. As you can see I'm gonna need uh, uh, just a few more. But So this is the end of uh, day one and I am very happy with it. I'm also very happy with uh, running three of these systems. My power hasn't uh, flipped off. Uh, hooray for not blowing breakers. Anyways, I'm going to turn these off. Uh, and I do have them set to where... I, I love these kind of switches. Which... Oh, focus you stupid thing. There we go. The different switches that have different plugs. But uh, this time... For reals, as always, play on.